Dear family members, welcome to Quick Quiz on Placenta Previa. In this video, we have selected for you the 12 most important questions from our complete 100 MCQ series videos. If you want to watch the full videos with detailed explanation, then check the links in the description below. Let's start. What is the first diagnostic tool used to confirm Placenta Previa? Your options are MRI, X-ray, Transabdominal Ultrasound or Amniocentesis. The correct answer is C that is Transabdominal Ultrasound. Transabdominal Ultrasound is the initial imaging modality to detect Placenta Previa. Question number 2. When diagnosing placenta previa, what is the role of Doppler ultrasound? Show options are to assess fetal heart rate, to check placental vascularization, to detect placental detachment, or to confirm cervical dilation. The correct answer is B that is to check placental vascularization. Doppler ultrasound evaluates blood flow within the placenta and its vascularity. Question number 3. What is a major risk for the neonate in placenta previa? Your options are respiratory distress syndrome. Hyperbilirubinemia, polycythemia, or neural tube defects? The correct answer is A, that is respiratory distress syndrome. Preterm delivery increases the risk of neonatal respiratory distress syndrome. Question number 4. How does a low-lying placenta differ from placenta previa? Two options are It is within 2 cm of the OS but does not reach it. It fully covers the OS. It detaches prematurely. Or it causes excessive bleeding. The correct answer is A that is it is within 2 cm of the OS but it does not reach it. A low-lying placenta is close to but does not encroach upon the cervical OS. Question number 5. What color is the vaginal bleeding in placenta previa? Two options are Dark red, bright red, brownish or mixed with clothes. The correct answer is B that is bright red. The vaginal bleeding is typically bright red due to its placental origin. Question number 6. Placenta previa is more common in which trimester? Two options are first, second, third or postpartum. The correct answer is that is C, third trimester. Placenta previa typically presents with symptoms like vaginal bleeding in the third trimester as the cervix begins to dilate. Question number 7. Placenta previa is most commonly diagnosed at what stage of pregnancy? Two options are first trimester, second trimester, third trimester or during labor. 
The correct answer is B that is second trimester. It is often diagnosed during the second trimester via routine ultrasound though many cases resolve by the third trimester. Question number 8. Which type of placenta previa completely covers the cervical loss? Your options are marginal, low-lying, total or partial. The correct answer is C that is total. Total placenta previa occurs when the placenta entirely blocks the cervical opening. Question number 9. Which management is preferred for placenta previa at 34 weeks with bleeding? Show options are normal vaginal delivery, observation only, caesarean section or toclitics and bed rest. The correct answer is C that is caesarean section. Caesarean section is the safest delivery method when placenta previa is associated with the active bleeding. Question number 10. Placenta previa is classified under which type of placenta abnormalities? Show options are placental insufficiency, placental invasion, placental location or placental detachment. The correct answer is C that is placental location. It is a condition where the placenta is abnormally located near or over the cervical oasis. Question number 11. Which is not a risk factor for placenta previa? Your options are multiple pregnancies, advanced maternal age, low parity, or previous uterine surgeries? The correct answer is C that is low parity. High parity and low parity is a risk factor due to increased uterine scarring. Question number 12. What surgical procedure may be necessary in placenta previa with uncontrolled bleeding? Your options are tubal ligation, cervical circlage, hysterectomy or laparoscopy. The correct answer is C that is hysterectomy. Hysterectomy may be required to control life-threatening hemorrhage. Dear family members, these were just 12 key questions. If you found them useful, don't miss out the full length videos covering all 100 MCQs. Link are in the descriptions. Like, share and comment your score. All the best.